It's the FGAs versus the SGAs. FGAs. SGAs. FGAs. SGAs. It's the first generation, yeah, the old school. We were treating schizophrenia way before you. We were the first to block D2 receptors up in your brain to help the positive and negative symptoms go away. And with the added benefit that we don't cause a lot of weight gain. Nah, unlike those SGAs. So if you have a patient struggling, don't hesitate and prescribe a good old FGA today. It's the FGAs versus the SGAs. God, stop lying. You ain't helping patients. You make them start crying and calling lawyers to complain that they now have a movement related disorder and can't move forward with the prescription that you ordered. So it's time to move to the new school, yeah. We block dopamine and serotonin too, yeah. And we treat depressive symptoms way better than you do, yeah. Hold up, that might be true. That you treat depressive symptoms better than we do. But we got the positive symptoms on lock. If your patient has a lot of them, it's the SGA you have to stop, so let's admit it. Thanks to us hallucinations, quit it. From all the dopamine we block in the mesolimbic, come get with it. And utilize the first generation for your patient's benefit. Absolutely not. You block so many dopamine receptors in that nigro straddle spot that the EPS symptoms come um a lot. Then you switch your patient over to a second gen LAI shot where we reduce.